and gentlemen, the team to my left, representing Team Valor, we are the Cyber Fight League, the comedian Nathan Black, and the professional William Valor! Introducing to my right, Representing Team Posty, we have the gentleman Jim McGuire, Orange Shoes, Luca Play, Finally Aiden Spar, Posty Survivor Series match here at PPW. I've still got Ellis Barker with me. That's me. What a what a huge PPW match here. We've got Aiden Sparks, Posty Malone, Jim Maguire, and Orange Shoes in the gym corner. We've got Carl Lawson, Nathan Black, William Valor, and Jay Vertigo. I left Jay Vertigo to the end there because his arm is still in a sling. Well, that's, um, that's that's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I know you've got a bit of blood, bad blood with you and Vertigo as yeah, well. Yeah, big fan. Big fan. There we go. So this is Survivor Series. This is elimination style, four versus four. Just to distract me from thinking about Jay Vertigo, what's what's your favourite Survivor Series match, William? Uh, I'm going to say Survivor Series um, 2006, Team DX versus Team Rated RKO. Great What's pick. your favourite Survivor Series match? Uh, I'd have to go with uh, Survivor Series 2006, Team DX versus Team Rated RKO. It's a good shout. It's a good shout. But here we are, stalemate between um, some rivals here in Post Malone, not Post Malone, in Fire Aiden Sparks and Carl Lawson here in the ring. Both of those are involved in the um, Tornado tag match for the PPW Championship with Post Malone and Jay Vertigo. Uh, I wonder if we're going to see any injuries in this match run. Fingers crossed we don't see any injuries and we just have a, uh, a fine specimen of a um, Survivor Series style match. A fiery specimen of a Survivor Series match. We've got some classic wrestling kicking into action here. And there we go, Jay Vertigo on the outside. One arm, talking wrestling. One arm man. Aiden Sparks been training down at Aspire Wrestling recently down in Derby, getting in some extra, oh, yeah. getting some extra reps. But those extra reps don't help you. And Cal Lawson's holding onto the ring rope, maybe a little bit too close to the other side there for my liking. But hey, it worked. You know what that does, Liam, when you hold the ring rope. It applies more pressure, apparently. So they say. Do you reckon we're going to see Aiden Sparks holding onto the rope after his uh, hellacious hardcore match from last time? I don't think so. Gets fired off the ropes. Fire his shoulder tackle there. There you go, fire. Fire comes in. Fiery line. A fiery line again. He's rocking and rolling on Carl Lawson he here. Is. Gets cut with a fiery knee. You've got to watch up. those straight gut kicks from Carl Lawson. They're Pushing dangerous. to the corner. I think we get to separation there. And oh, now here, finally. Co here comes Nathan Black. Here comes Luca Blake. This is a bad time for Nathan Black. Here, hold on a second. Who's this coming on the outside? Oh, hold on a second. Oh, no, no not him. Fire Savannah. Not him. Brawling, the kicking off. Firing through. Man. Unbelievable. Some big fire coming through there, but what's happened there? That means that... Oh, Does that well, mean that, man down? That wasn't an... Uh, wasn't an uh, I mean, he's out of the match, but he, wasn't, the match. but he wasn't eliminated. I've never no seen that happen before. I guess. I mean, he didn't even start. He didn't even start competing there. Nathan Black says he's a, says he's eliminated, but it's not an elimination. There we go. 
I was going to say. But oh, what is this? Wait, wait, just one minute. What on earth? I know what this music means. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm also excited because here comes oh, a phantom. Oh my, here he is. We're probably going to cut this because I can't use the copyright, but who cares? Who cares? Here he is. Phantom's the fourth man. But whose side is he on, Ellis Barker? He's oh. on the good guy's side. He's making up the numbers. I mean, you'd, you'd think so. You'd hope so. Maybe he's on his own team. He's making a third team. A third team. He's not. He's on their side. Trust oh. me, I booked it. Okay, that's good. I'm glad you know. Here we go. So the Phantom is in the ring. He no, the fa Phantom is always waiting and watching in the rafters. He saw the injustice. Oh, and Jay Vertigo tags in with one arm. With one arm. He's got him with one arm. Here comes the boot. Stunner. Unbelievable. Right on the arm. Jay Vertigo has been eliminated. Well, I don't know if you know how excited I am to see Jay Vertigo out of this room. But hang on a second. Let's go. No. That's a low blow. Nate Daniels misses it. No! Oh, and the Phantom has been eliminated as well. How? Fire Aiden Sparks back in the oh, ringer yeah. again. Gives him that arm ringer. Here we go. What, what chaos that happened there. Unbelievable scenes. And now the baby faces are in oh. control. Just like Shawn Michaels in Survivor Series 2006. Where he teamed up with um, Triple H as well. Absolutely. Oh. Comes off the top. We are fully in control here. Now, Ellis Barker, can you tell me about what control of the arm does in these sort of matches when it comes to tag team work? So what you can do if you keep control of the arm in, in a tag team match is you can actually debilitate someone's chances of making a tag because if you are in there and your arm hurts you don't want to stretch it out to make a tag that's what Chili told me anyway there, and I, 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 can, I can slightly agree with that to an extent I also think it's helpful for keeping wrist control Lawson needs to get out of this ring I mean, Nathan Black calling him a baboon isn't great now an interesting thing that happens here is that we've got Fiery Delivery who are an established tag team that, but there we go. There's a blind tag coming. Nathan Black jumps straight That's in. Not what I like to see. Nathan Black is not what I like to see. Oh, absolutely. But I give him this. Takes a kick. And here we go. Fiery delivery back in control again. But manages to get out of the ring. This action is hot and heavy here. William Valor now in the ring. The most professional wrestler um, at PPW, he calls himself. Well, you know, you can have a high opinion of yourself. You absolutely can, and you've got to have a high opinion of yourself. You've got, there we go, as Nathan Black said, Willie. a strong willy throwing fiery Aiden Sparks there. Big uh, uh, strong uh, willy. Wow, well, a, re a rotund willy is what we heard there. Interesting, here we go, only at PPW. And how the tables have turned, where previously Team Posty was in control, and now we've got Team Valor in control. I thought that the team of Fiery Delivery might help to stay in control, but it's clearly not being that. Aiden Sparks taking a bit of a beating in that far corner. Well, you know, Aiden Sparks wants to make a tag, wants to get out of the ring. But he's in there with uh, probably the biggest man on 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 the in the match. Yeah, Cal Lawson, tall man, um, had a good amount of size to him. He's leaned up, but he's still big. Um, Nathan Black, also a big dude. The um, the team of William Valor has been very well picked. Uh, I will give them that. Now, usually in a tag match, you would probably want to go and make this tag, but 
Could it also be a case of Fire Aiden Sparks maybe looking for a quick cheeky pin to try and eliminate Cal Lawson and make it a three on two advantage? Well, that's gone out the window now, now that William Valor has got back in the match. Yeah, Aiden Sparks needs to d desperately, desperately do something. Don't look here. at me, Nathan Black. Feels like there's a little bit of heat between you and Nathan Black there. Well, you know, I beat him. Jim, you, yeah, you did. Um, did I beat him? I can't remember. No, he beat me. Ah, he beat me, yeah. That's unfortunate. Give me that bin liner on the apron, didn't he? No, anyway, back to the liner. match. Jim, gentlemen, Jim Maguire is in the ring. Aiden Sparks took a beating there. We're looking like for a double two. suplex coming through. Oh, and that's a chop block there. A dirty, dirty chop block. Dirty. And maybe, maybe there, I think that Nate Daniels may be swayed a little bit by Team Valor there. Well, you know, I already said that I don't like Nate Daniels. I don't think that he's a, he's a good choice as a referee. I'll tell you what, you don't like Nate Daniels, you don't like Cyber Fight League, you don't like Nathan Black. Yep. I don't like all these people who are horrible people. Do you, do you like Big Rotund Willie Valor? No. All right, there we Valor, are. Valor, I don't like. Valor. And on the outside there, we've got Jim Maguire struggling to get back into the ring. I like him. Oh, a hell of a forearm there in the corner. Yes. There we go. We get a little bit of fight coming through. Big right. jumping. Inzaguri there from Posty Malone. Inzaguri meaning slice to the back of the head. Kick out at two. And again there, could have made the tag. Chose to go for the pin. Tried to eliminate Valor. With the team captains in the ring currently. Leading up this, they both asked for a Survivor Series. They both wanted, they both had people that they knew they could go to. I was going to say, you know this more than me. So they, they picked their own teams. Picked they? their own teams, yeah. Posty and Malone picked his team. William Valor picked his team. And Posty never approached me. Well, I think, so he's got Fiery Aiden Sparks. Um, he's got um, Gentleman Jim McGuire, who's known for years. Um, Luca Blake, I think he appreciates the fire in the heart that he's got in him. Uh, probably thought that you had some other bits going on today. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. William Valor making the smart move of picking an established tag team and also managed to uh, weasel his way into getting Resident Weasel in the ring. And there comes the tag team dynamic from... Um, from fiery Aiden Sparks there trying to get the crowd on side with Posty Malone ducks the clothesline ducks the back elbow big speed oh. double punch to the face there and both men are down Posty Malone desperately needs to make this tag Posty growling the troops behind him now who's he going to tag in here because we've got Aiden Sparks he's who's got... taking a beating we've got Jim Maguire who's on one wheel that's it that's and it and Carl saying that he's got it he's saying look at the size of me Nathan Black Takes the clothesline. He did not just have it. He did not have it at all. He did not have it in the slightest. Fire Aiden Sparks ducks it. Picks him up. Exploder. I'm what? not all surprised that Posty tagged Aiden. I'm Used to tagging Aiden. Absolutely. It's a smart move. I wonder if uh, Cal Lawson would have Fire. tagged in Jay Vertigo. Thinks the Cyber Fight League are the best. Well... Sets him for the fire, misses the big corner drop kick. Nathan out of the way by Nathan Black. Nathan Black playing a blinder here. He's he's been in great positions all the way through this. You know what? I might not like him, but you are correct. He is he is doing well in this match. Widowmaker there from Carl Lawson. Bit of a lackadaisical cover, a little bit. But I mean, when he takes. But there, I do wonder if you if you're looking at. Cal Lawson there holding his shoulder. I wonder if he's being caught as he's coming down there. Cal Lawson still hesitant to tag in anybody else. He said he could. He said he could take Aiden as well, and he did. He did. He's saying trust in the Cyber Fight League. Terrible decision. Although he did eliminate Aiden Spark. You know, look, looking a little bit like a grovet there. Bit of a front chancery locked in. Hooks in that double wrist. What did you call that? A front chancery. No, that's incorrect. What did you call that? A grovet. What's a grovet? I'll show, I'll show you at some point. Don't you worry. You oh. might not remember it. Probably not. 
And we're going back to that broken wheel. If you remember earlier on in this match, oh, this is a, an old school British figure four locked in here, an Indian deathlock of sorts. Deathlock is what I'd call that. No. And he's on the ropes as well. This is ridiculous. Jim's wife in the audience as well. That's, this is that's gross. Why would you do that? Why would you do this? The no Stop need waving. Here we go. Looking angry on the corner there. I'm very angry. Well, currently he's in a losing position here. Walks in that top wrist lock. Walks him. Gym break special. Arm ringer there, weakening that arm. And if you remember, Cal Lawson took a lot of damage. That's true. Popped that shoulder the wrong way there. Jim is a strong man also. Jim, extremely strong. That's why he's part of the uh, part of the freak show now. I don't like them, don't like clowns. Well, I, yeah, we've, we've well established that. PPW 10 if you want to go and have a watch of that. Um, oh, and a big oh. arm pull there, pulling that out of the socket. Very... Um, Unusual offense from Jim, Jim McGuire. Yeah, very, he's unorthodox. There's that Wasteland, Wasteland like a sack of spuds. Steps over him. This is a fair way to go. On, on a Tweets bad wheel as well. Mustache. Oh. Nails it. Veda bomb. A Veda bomb, but only gym gets bomb. the two. A Jim bomb. A Veda Jim. No, that doesn't work. No, Jim bomb. Now, Jim, does Jim make the tag or does Jim stay in the ring? If I was Jim on that bad wheel, I'd make the tag to the fired up push him on. But the corner. then Cal Lawson also has a bad wheel on his arm. So could this be the Jim Brick special coming up right now? Bending it, hand into the armpit. Here we We're going go. up. This He's could going be it. Cal saying no. Big strong Jim. And he taps out, tried to resist, tried to resist and could not. No! In comes Nathan. Not him. No! You leave Jim alone. Old Man River. Old Man River. Old Man River Plex. A variation on the Weasel Plex. Another one again. Tries to get him up, wrenches him. That's a Weasel Plex there. Weasel. Now, I will give Nathan this credit. If you go back and watch our original PPW shows, like PPW 5 and 6, where Nathan appears, he is a completely different wrestler. He's not even just been out in the UK. He's been out in Europe, and he's becoming a hell of a performer, and it pains me to say that, but he is. That's, uh, that's, that's a fair point to make. What isn't a fair point to make is how fair the ref has not been Allowing him to pull his mustache. Well, there we go. Out of nowhere. Surprise. And now we are down to a two-on-one scenario. Nathan Black caught by surprise there on a sneaky roll-up from Jim Maguire. Nathan cannot, cannot be happy about that. <laughs> he cannot. Nathan not, not... Not doing well in the last few showings that he's been on. Not really. I, he's got a lot of stuff beat going. Beat you, but that's he, it. He, beat, he did beat me, so maybe I'm not doing great either. Stamps on the foot, picks him up on the shoulder. No. Hold on a second. Back. Here comes Nathan again. He's back. Drops down the back here. Big eye rake there, blinding him. Turns around. Larry. Oh, oh, unbelievable. Larry. That's him out. Good night, Jim. Oh, no. Down to the captains. Down to the captain Zuda for it. Gentleman Jim Maguire getting his head taken off. I mean, that's I think, a fair I claim. Think Jack Turner would uh, maybe disagree. Maybe Jack Turner would disagree, but Valor's got a hell of a record with that lariat. This was the only way that Valor would agree to this match was a Survivor Series style match. He's on his knees. Damn, he's been watching some Lycos Jim, I believe. Backing up into the corner here. I don't here. like them either. He's not William a good Valor guy. saying that he's a good guy. I don't trust him. He re oh, pulls him right into that corner. Got a big... And that's the, that's the risk we... That's the risk we wear in a big singlet there. Nearly give him a Lawson to the ribs. Nearly. On top here and Valor... 
from saying that he's a nice guy. He says he's not a nice guy, and now he's stomping all over him, and he's on that neck. And we know what problems Posty has with his neck. He's going through some health complications at the moment. That neck is a target. Stop. That neck is... is can't... I can't put into words how bad it is for oh, Posty. Big butterfly suplex there. I mean, it's not even the neck, it's the throat. Just a two count there from Posty Malone. Keeping the team alive. Still resilient, Posty Malone. I don't think that he's he's the type of man to throw his own ex up. No, he is not the, he's not the type of man. If he loses a tooth, he's going to keep going on. If he uh, breaks a rib, he ain't throwing that ex up. He ducks on through. Pump handle, elbow, sweet bow. Beautiful. Oh, just peeps that audio. An orthodox, an orthodox offense from Posty Malone. Absolutely. But now, oh, pushing at oh. the ropes. It's putting he him off balance. He like he even... Push what? him that hard. I no, think I'll give I'll give Nate that hooks him in. Looking for bam. Trust Nate Daniels. That's a one for a Death Valley driver with a little twist on it. Just a two, Nate Daniels. Damn. Oh. Do you know? Just a two. The hand the hand came down as well. But Nate Daniels is saying just a two. You see, to Nate be fair to him, could have said it was a three. He could have. Could have said it was a three, but he didn't. Said it was a two. Oh. He's going to die. He says he's going to die. Otto. Look for that Larry. No. Hits that ghost. Oh. Low drop kick to the knee. Here we go. First class stab. Oh wow. My. Unbelievable. Good Jeez. lord. Annihilated him. That's the one for the finish. Posty Malone picks up the team win. Yeah. <laughs> 